Good evening and welcome to the Whiskey Lover Society with me Gert Retief, not home, doing a little bit of traveling. I really enjoy my travels in Africa and I'm going to spend a lovely two weeks traveling all over the place. Thank you for watching my video on the duty free shop in Brussels, a little bit of an update on Terminal B. If you are interested in duty free whiskey and want to know what's on offer, it is holiday season, it's summertime, everybody in Belgium is traveling. Video is a real good one. A lot of people are watching it. So thank you very much for the people that supports my duty free videos as well. But tonight we are, well, I brought some samples. In Africa, sometimes it is a little bit difficult to find a very good whiskey, not the standard Johnny Walker red label type of whiskies. So I did bring a sample. I did pour myself a weed ram uh, maybe 15 minutes ago, just to give it a little bit of time to breathe. And of course, you've seen in the thumbnail, I'm talking about a independent bottled whiskey. Well, a little bit of a strange one. This is an independent company in Belgium. It's called Into Spirit. Well, if you go onto the website, they say they are independent. They on the bottle, and I'll put a picture somewhere that you can see, they call themselves an independent bottler. But when you read very careful, they put the independent bottle in inverted commas. Basically what it means, they source a cask from different distilleries. And then they will keep it at that distillery. And once it reaches perfect maturity for them, they will then ask the company to bottle um, the whiskey and they will put their own logos on it. So quite curious, at my online store, I saw some samples available. That is the Ben Rennes. It is bottled at 54.4% ABV, natural color, non-chill filtered, and um, matured for nine years in ex-bourbon cask. And when they finish it off for seven months, in ex Olorosa sherry cars. So expect a little bit of a nice sherry influence. Now, if we look at the color, um, nine years and seven months old, quite a lot of color that was pulled out of that Olorosa sherry cask and a little bit maybe from the ex bourbon cask. But as you can see, well, I hope you can see hotels, the lights are never any good. But you can see very dark amber color coming out. But um, I was quite interested in this one. I've did some reviews on Ben Rennes. I did also sample some other whiskies from them. Sometimes there is a little bit of an oakiness in it. Um, sometimes uh, maybe a little bit too much. I was quite interested in it. Anything with a little bit of a sherry cast uh, is always something that I'm looking forward to try. So definitely not going to be a long video. Um, I have to edit this thing on my iPad. Um, not easy, especially at my age. Just doing a little bit of a struggle. I did upload the video um, on Sunday and um, it completely hashed things. I have to upload it about four times eventually to get it right. So bear with me. Um, back to the whiskey. And of course, the pen heron is nine years old, independent bottled. Colorways, love the color on the nose. Cheers. Oh my word, it is nice. Now that's really like seven months in the Oloroso sherry cask. Must have been a wet cask. That sherry monster note coming out. I was a little bit worried that that 54.4% ABV is going to be a little bit too much. Well, if you agitate it and you stick your nose in, well, good thing it's a white rim glass. Mm. That 
lovely sweetness that comes out. That's a oakiness that comes out. There's a fruity nose components, that dried fruit components. That's a little bit of a chocolate note. When I get a little bit of a furniture polish note, there's a, a, a little bit of a dusty note coming out. There's a little bit of leather polish coming out. There's a little bit of a, that leather boots note coming out. And then that sweetness, it keeps on building up for me. Oh my word, that is nice. I love something that is this, well, maybe a little bit overly sweet. And then you wake it up, give it a little shaky shaky. And then it kicks you in the nose and says, this is quite a strong one. I did bring some water just to add just a wee drop of water on this one. But without the water, that lovely sweetness, it is intoxicating, it's friendly, it's lovely. I just, and I go back now, get quite a strong caramel note coming out, a little butterscotch note coming out. But um, yeah, don't stick your nose in too deep on this one, on the taste, cheers. Mm. Wow, that 54% ABV kicks you. It's a, a burst of flavor. When you get that sudden release of that alcohol and it just evaporates, it's gone. And then you are left with quite a sweet sensation. Toffee notes, dark chocolate note, dried fruit note, um, and it's just a hint of a hint that just goes down the throat. I was a little bit surprised on that. I was under the impression it's going to be that burning sensation. This for me drinks like a much older whiskey. It drinks for me a little bit, maybe something that's 15 or 18 years old. There's a maturity to the alcohol. You just want to make sure. Mm. Small sips. If, if you're going to take a big sip on this one, I think it's going to be a little bit too much. Well, it's going to be too much for me. But I take a couple of drops at a time, just push it through the mouth and just experience that lovely sweetness. So on the nose for me, fantastic. On the taste, I find all this lovely sweetness. It's like taking a handful of trail mix, add some chocolate bits, some nuts, some dates, some figs, some raisins. Put everything in your mouth and you just chew on it and that lovely sweet juices that are released. This is it. This is what you get on this one. I do like it. Now, I'm just going to add a little bit of water. I did buy some droppers. Of course, I didn't bring it. So I'm just going to eyeball it. It's not a lot of whiskey. Um, I am just going to see if I can just add not even half a teaspoon of water, just to see what the effect is going to be. Now, there's definitely a little bit of elevation of the sweetness. That little dusty note coming out now, more than without the water. There's definitely a release, there's a little bit of a orange peel oil coming out. Oh, but it is nice. With water added. Mm, much more subtle on the taste. It's not that burn evaporation um, and that a little bit of an alcohol sting going. Still very sweet. The chocolate note is still there, a little bit more raisins coming out, there's a little bit more dried fruit, maybe even a hint of a dried peach or a dried apricot coming out, a little bit of a leathery note. Um, wow, that is really nice. This is one of the nicest whiskies, um, Oloroso Sherry whiskies that I've tasted in a while, and I have tasted quite a lot of them. Price-wise, well, I think you can get it for around, 
I think you can get it for around 89, maybe to 95 euros. Now that has been a sticky conversation that I've had with a couple of people. People, um, and I also did a poll on what are you prepared to pay for a no age statement whiskey? Well, do you consider nine years old as a no age statement whiskey? Just because they put it on the bottle saying nine years, um, are you willing to pay 90 odd euro for a whiskey that is nine years and seven months? I suspect there's a lot of people that are willing to pay this. In the poll, most people said um, they are willing to pay whatever is necessary. I think 16%. I was quite surprised. A lot of people said maybe 40, some said 50 euro, some said maybe 60 euro. But I was very surprised of people saying that they are willing to pay whatever is necessary to buy a whiskey that they enjoy. I'm not there yet. Um, I think my wallet agrees with me. I need to spend my money a little bit more wisely. So on that note, 89 euros for this bottle. It's 111 only of them. So if you want one, you need to go look online. Belgium stores. Um, it is a Belgium company. So you're definitely going to have to go look in some of the online stores from Belgium. Oh my word, but it is nice. Oh, it is just something that I would love in a winter time. I'm in Africa. It is um, eight o'clock in the evening. It is 29 degrees outside. I had to switch off the air conditioner it's because it makes a little bit too much noise. But winter drink, Christmas cake in a glass, this is definitely something I would recommend. Uh, please let me know in the comments if you tried this Ben Rennes 9 years old independent bottle or any Ben Rennes for that matter, which one is your favorite one. So thank you very much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe and I see you next time. Cheers.